all right youtube jw solo usa coming up with another video today and what you see in there is a brand new tools coming from um before max it's called a 113 uh drills and drive beat sets right here from jw solo usa tell me what you think if you like this set please give me a like Subscribe and thumbs up to the channel because JW Solo is ready for a different project. I gotta get ready with my Bosch drill. You know, this bad boy has been doing some few installations, and I got myself some new screws here. A two and a half, a quarter and a half, a quarter and two and a half long. You know, these are all the ones I'm gonna be using. I have uh, this one's uh, power, power legs. No power lag, sorry, and uh, packs power lags. So you can see how uh, this um, the T30 and uh, like a star, and I have all the bits for them. It's made in Germany. Woohoo! Wow, it's gonna be a nice product, though, folks. Uh, I'm doing this, uh, um, I'm showing you all these tools here. Then I have my level right here. Folks, this is just showing you what I'm going to be doing. Guess what? Dun, 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 The Outback. The Flex Max. Uh, the Outback. The FX 40. 3048. See? It's just, I'm really kind of stumbling calling the name. The Outback. The FX. The 3048, the empty, this is the mobile version, is back. The beast is back. It's going to be hanging on the wall right there with the Magna sign. Ha! Ah, here comes the Magna sign. The two beasts of JW Solo USA. We're going to be bringing it all the way down. The system is rocking right here. Minnesota. Yeah, we got uh, the Midnight Classic and the Outback Flexback 60. We have the Mate. We have the Magnum Mobile with a battery extra. These outfitters all going to be running the new batteries in there, the manuals, right on the command center. JW Solo USA. Give a shout out to everybody who is following me right on the channel. This is the way I'm going to be rocking up the channel. And folks, the reason why I'm bringing the Outback, uh, the FX 3048, is going to be installed right here. You know, the spot. This is the spot for the um, Outback, the FX 3048 uh, inverter charger. Uh, it's been taken by the MagnaSign. So, nothing wrong with that. If you guys can see, I use the same um, uh, screws right there, you know, to beats, you call them whatever, uh, to install this one. They can hold the farm. I want to put it here. It's easy for the transition when I'm going to be uh, putting it to, uh, this one to uh, retire this for uh, spring. Sorry, for fall. And... Uh, the Outback is going to be taking over for the 48 volt and see how it goes. Or maybe we can put the Outback to test. Well, folks, this is what I'm going to do. Like I promise you guys, anytime I say something, I want to make sure I keep I trying to keep my promises and try to keep things uh, for real the way they should be. So it's going to sit there. It's easy for me because it's not easy. It's easy for me to transition here to there to connect the wires. Because the reason I want to do this, we are not getting younger anymore. Lifting these machines are really heavy. You know, the Outback is almost about 80, 80 pounds, something like that approximately. You know, putting it up here, I might not probably be in a good uh, mood or maybe in a good, um, maybe I'm not feeling good, like I'm not feeling good right now. I'm trying to put a Magnum, uh, out, Magnum or Outback up there is not an easy task, especially when you walk by yourself, you know. And most of the time, my wife helped me out with some of the stuff. 
which I really appreciate. A lot of women out there <clears throat> help their husbands or their loved ones, boyfriends do some projects. And I really congratulate those ladies who normally do that, want to be part of that. Because a family thing, this is the, our power generation, is the, 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 the power station. So everybody is involved, you know, into these kids and mothers and girlfriends and boyfriends or whosoever doing the project. I welcome you all, you guys, to my channel because you guys are doing the right thing. Even if, even if you're holding a flashlight or maybe passing on the tools or uh, uh, screws or whatever or observing, you're part of solo. You know, I really appreciate you guys being part of it because this is the 21st century. This is the new revolution. This is what we're going to be staying with. This is solar is not going to go anywhere. Solar, wind, hydro, you know, we on the right track. So that's why, folks, I want to bring you the battery box is here. You know, it's filled up with uh, batteries. I'll show you that. That's going to be another video coming up with my uh, new 6-volt batteries. And uh, I want to show you guys how everything is going to be configured. But today's video is not about the batteries. Okay. I'm just trying to show you that the Outback is coming back. So a lot of people think probably I get rid of the Outback for the Magnum. Or maybe get rid of the Outback, the Magnum for the Kotec. No. I have these three systems because I switched them back and forth. Just like people have, who has vehicles. A lot of vehicles, a lot of toys. They think that they use this for spring, summer, and fall. Or winter so the same thing I do I just want to put a system make sure you guys keep you guys active on the channel know that um, um, this machine still work up to now I'm rotating the machines and they work okay when I get too bored and I'm trying different machines different panels liver different electronics I want to try and do different machines and bring them up and make sure everything is okay and you guys gonna be seeing other machines rotating on my board instead of staring the same thing over and over and over and again I might probably take the Magnum down because I'm expecting uh, another surprise for you guys I hope all is well then I'm gonna set up that new machine up there and uh, you guys can see maybe that's the time the Magnum is coming down for the end of the season and the, 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 the Outback is going to be up there with whatsoever the new machine that is coming. But I'm still hoping that everything transition right as I'm hoping, I'm wishing everything goes well. Then I can able to put it up there. I can able to show you guys. So let's get back to the tools here. All right, YouTube. Um, just uh, already got this thing open up. And I'm going to take these tools out and see what you guys think about these tools. You know, some people think it's a cheapo, and some people think probably it's not the best tool. But you know what? Anything that works for me and uh, with my project, that's what I'm going to deal with. So I'm going to use this bad boy here as a socket here, and I'm going to be um, using this number. Um, look at it keenly to see the number. I hope you guys can see that. The T30. So, folks, as I'm still trying to recover from my voice, and but I'm not going to stop to bring you guys the video, the videos you guys like to watch from my channel here, which I really appreciate you guys being part of it. See this bad boy? Look at the, the thing right here. It's a star, and I'm going to get it right there. You see how this bad boy is going to hold, fasten up everything. And uh, this is how I'm going to mount this thing to the command center see that that's the right tool for the thing it's right there so folks this is what i'm going to be using and i'm going to use this bad boy adapter if that's how you call it and stick it right there and got myself you know the cool thing about this thing can able to extend you know and able to shorten this one as well see that so i'm gonna use this bad boy this ones they look like kind of a little bit um match the color for the outback and instead of using um this ones are kind of like a gold plated whatever it is so to get the color match so stay tuned for the next video because you guys can see all these things going to be mounted enjoy the tools see what i have in here if you like it please give a, a thumbs up and share the video 
JW Solar USA is back on the channel and I'm gonna be giving you guys more videos and stay tuned I hope um, you like what I'm doing give me uh, your feedback thanks for watching